So we finally know more about Pokemon Masters. That's a lot of fun. Pokemon Masters, if you haven't seen, is a mobile game coming to, uh, oh, mobile devices. Everyone's got a phone. That's true. In summer 2019, which could be in a couple weeks. It could be August, maybe even early September. I'm willing to bet it's, it's August, like early to mid-August. I think it's July. You think it'll be July? I feel like they would have specified July. I feel like... I don't know. I hope it's July. My I bet's on Ju it. end of July. Alright, his bet's on end of July. I'm going with August. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna bet they just quietly drop it and it like comes out in Australia first or something. And then Sarah B reports like, it's live in Australia on August 12th. I'm gonna say July 24th. July 24th, alright. Well, um, what do you, let's talk about, let's talk about this for a second because the internet it has a lot of things to talk about with Pokemon Masters. It comes at a time where the Pokemon community is tearing itself apart, crying about their national decks and their their features. <laughs> well, my features. <laughs> that's 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 you. That you're probably watching this video right now. You're probably real salty because I'm making fun of you, but you deserve to be made fun of. Um, so let's. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm getting off on a tangent. So Pokemon Masters is a mobile game where you collect, instead of Pokemon, you collect trainers from throughout the video game's history. Um, it's like it, Fire Emblem, if you played that game for the phone. Yeah, so it's made by, by DNA, not Game Freak, um, who is a mobile game studio. They made, uh, they made, I'm pretty sure they're making Mario Kart Tour the mobile game for Mario Kart that's coming out. A couple other mobile games too. For They've Nintendo. done a Star Wars game. They've done a bunch of weird little like waifu weeby games. Um, here's the thing. Everybody's freaking out about this game saying like, I'm not good. I'm gonna take the money I would have spent on a Switch and Sword and Shield and put it into this gotcha mobile game. It's just gonna be microtransactions collecting different trainers. You know that it's gonna start with a limited pool of trainers and then before all the trainers they've promised us get released, you're gonna be like, you can get the special edition of Red where instead of having a Charizard, he has a Snorlax or whatever. Oh yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, they're gonna do It's gonna be of... super gotcha and it's probably gonna be playable for free, but at a very frustrating pace, you know? You're probably gonna have an energy meter of some sort and yeah. then you're gonna have to spend the energy to get trainers or it, who knows. What is in mobile games? It's always like crystals or tokens or yeah, coins yeah. or whatever that you have to earn up. Gems. Um, and I mean, the gameplay looks like, uh, it's like triple battles, but not, not in a traditional Pokemon battle sense. It looks a lot like, uh, it kind of reminded me of that one Star Wars game, uh, what is it, like Arena of Heroes or Galaxy of... I don't know. I think it's, Arena's in the It game. reminded me of that Yu-Gi-Oh game for the GameCube way back. Oh, that yeah. That was just three on three. Oh, yeah. And you had those monsters, that and that was, was... That was a game. Yeah, that was a game. I forgot all about that. Uh, isn't it neat? Racking my brain trying to remember. That, what was, that was one called. hell of False Bound Kingdom. False Bound Kingdom. That was oh one hell goodness. of a game. Um, <laughs> wow. Bring me back to sixth grade. Yeah, I know. Um, so, uh, people are getting real excited about it. I don't want to knock on the excitement. I'm just personally, I don't really care about this game. I don't play mobile games. I don't use my I don't play a single game on my phone except for Pokemon Go when there's something in it for me, like a Mel Metal. Uh, how about you? What's your I, I play Pokemon Go often, and that's pretty much all I touch. Other than maybe I'll open Fire Emblem Heroes and then get my free stuff for the day, and then realize that there's nothing else to do, and I'll close it. And, that's what yeah. I think this game is going to be like. It's going to be like that Fire Emblem thing. And I guess it's just not for me. Maybe we're... I think we might be just above the generation that like mobile games are for, but somebody's going to play this game. So what you're, what you're saying to me, if I'm interpreting this correctly, is that... As an avid Pokemon Go player, you're probably the most into Pokemon Go out of any of the people I know outside of my internet friends through Pokelord. Yeah. This game, does it appeal to you the way Pokemon Go does? Do you see yourself playing it as much as you play Pokemon Go? I feel like this is a sit-down Pokemon game, whereas Pokemon Go, you're going to play on the go. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather play something else when I'm sitting down. I, I also feel like I'd like the same thing. Like I would rather, if I'm gonna take the time to play a game on my phone, I'd rather get up and walk around and play Pokemon Go yeah. than do whatever this game is. And the gameplay itself looks like it's just kind of like the battles in the gyms on Pokemon mm -hmm. Go. Like you tap the screen and then you get a special move, which is they're not calling them Z moves, but they're basically Z moves. Yeah, like everything has a unique Z move. It looks like, mm -hmm. and um, for like mobile games for me, I like a nice simple mobile game, and this game looks like. It might get complicated. Yeah. 
and I know the people who made Pokemon Go made that Harry Potter game. That game's too complicated for me. I just want to play Pokemon <laughs> oh, Go and throw some balls. Rough. I tried. I tried. Couldn't do it. I deleted it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, that's it. here's the thing. I, I want to make another point about this game. I think that part of the internet type is because everybody's so salty about Sword and Shield. They see this thing and they see like, oh, the Pokemon have like better animations and look how expressive the characters, the trainer character spaces are. That has nothing to do with like the gameplay of Pokemon. This is still not like at its core, like anything we love about Pokemon. It's just so the characters like smile more. There's the one where the Gen 5 trainer girl is like, and there's that meme everybody's sharing where they're like, yeah. they put more emotion into this character's face than anything in Sword of Shield. But like, I, it's not gonna fill that <laughs> hole in your lives that you think it's gonna fill just because it might for some people. It might Who for knows? some people, but for the majority of people yeah. that are talking about it, I don't think that's the case. And this comes, goes back to the salt about Sword and Shield. We hardly even saw Sword and Shield. We, we've yeah. seen like maybe 20 Pokemon max in that's game, true. in battle. And people complain about maybe a couple things. Another quick thing, I think people are really only excited about Pokemon Masters as much as they are because it had a hype cartoon attached to it. Instead of actually showing you what the game is, because the game, I believe, has so little substance that they couldn't fill eight minutes with just the game, because you'd be, you'd be like, oh, this is it? So they made a, a, a cool-looking anime, and were like, look, this is what it's like, but... I mean, and, you know, one thing that the Pokemon company is good at is making cool hype animes. Like the Gen, two tra or Gen 5 Part 2 trailer. The Gen 5 Part 2 trailer that is, is the, one of the greatest anime sequences that they've done for anything. That's up there with like Pokemon Generations and oh, absolutely. that other promotional anime they did. Yep. Or Origins or whatever it was called. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, the Origins that was on YouTube. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it on Pokemon Masters. Um, let's see, we talked about how it's a gotcha game, how it's definitely not just going to fill the hole, in, the hole in your heart that Sword and Shield's going to leave if you don't play that game. I think that's all we have to say about yeah, this one. Yeah, it's just a, looks like a nice, simple mobile game, maybe... Spend a couple minutes on it per day, depending on what it does. For like a couple weeks till you forget about it and delete it to make room for another cooler, better game on your phone. You know, the only mobile game I ever really played on my phone, like, a lot, was like five years ago. There was, right before Force Awakens came out, there was a Star Wars game that was like a tower defense game that I played the crap out of. But tower defense can be fun. But I was, yeah. But I, I played it to the point where like, I needed to get a bunch of, I basically needed to pay to play it more than every like two days uh. and I'm afraid that this is what Pokemon's gonna do. I do have one other thing I wanted to kind of tack on to this video though. So this kind of, the, the release of Pokemon Masters and the fact that they gave it its own press conference whereas normally when they make a Pokemon mobile game they just drop it like that Pokemon Rumble game, Pokemon Duel, those just appeared one day. Yeah. Even Pokemon Go just was suddenly out. There's and a little I think, hype up to that though at least. There's definitely hype to go Pokemon Go but I don't remember it ever getting a press conference or like a direct or anything like that. I don't really remember, yeah. I guess this wasn't technically a direct, but it was still like a special thing. They went out of their way to showcase it before it comes out. I think this kind of confirms something that I think is really unfortunate, but inevitable for gaming in general, is that side games are going to just all be mobile games now. I don't think we'll ever see another Pokemon Conquest, another Pokemon, uh, was it when you became a Pokemon, the maze game? Oh, dungeon Mystery game. Dungeon. I don't think we'll ever see another Mystery Dungeon or whatever, and I mean, most of the side games aren't great. I mean, Pokemon Dash was basically just what a mobile oh, game geez, is today. Oh, we don't talk about that. That was like, here's some DS features and use them. Yep. But I really hope that, th that this isn't like the end of Pokemon side games. I hope that there's like another great for the Switch, just like Pokemon, even if it's something like Pikachu Park. Just some other property. Mm, <laughs> ah, no. I didn't play Pikachu Park, but I know oh, a lot of people God. liked it. I, either way, what I really want just another Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> just give me another <laughs> exclusive battle game. Please, but that's, a, just, that's another video. That. That's another video. Give us that. Uh, until next time, guys, I've been Nick. I've been Ben. And uh, don't forget, we do, we do live streaming, viewer battles, giveaways, tournaments, all that stuff on Twitch and this YouTube channel. Uh, if you hit that subscribe button, that would help us out immensely. We're going to have a lot more discussions like this coming out. We have battle videos, and you'll get the notification when we stream. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at PokeLore underscore TV. That will also be linked in this video. Uh, and I guess that's all we have to say about Pokemon Masters. Yeah. You've listened to us ramble enough. So until next time, uh, let's see when it comes out.